And here are the answers to the quiz. Question 1. Drupal comes bundled with which languages already downloaded? And the answer is A. English. Any other language you have to download separately, or when you install Drupal, you can select a different language and that language will be installed during the installation process. Question 2. You have to add a new language in order to translate the interface. True or false? The answer is false. You can use the language modules to translate the interface into whatever language you'd like manually. We use that feature to override one bit of English text with another bit. Question 3. When will translated content show a translated version? Check all that apply. And the answers are A, B, and C. You can visit the translated URL. You can change your default language in your profile, or you can visit the original URL with a language prefix, like ES for Spanish. Question 4. You can set different default languages for different content types, true or false? The answer is true. Though this is something that you would have had to have inferred from the video, we didn't talk about it explicitly. It is a good thing to know though. And finally, question 5. Which of the following can be translated? Check all that apply. And the answer is all of them. Again, we didn't talk about this explicitly, but you can deduce this from the interfaces that we've seen. Alright, let's check out the solutions to our challenges. So challenge one was enable French interface translations. Okay, so we're going to need to download and install a new language. I'm going to hop over to languages and let's click add language. We'll select French and add language. It will take a minute. So now if we wanted to see our site in French, let's go to detection and selection and figure out what the prefix is for French. Okay, FR. So if we put an FR here in the URL, we'd get the page in French. C'est très bon. Our next challenge was to translate the extreme snorkeling tour type page into French. To start with this challenge, we're going to need to enable translations for tour type pages. We only have it enabled for basic pages right now. Let's go to content language and translation, and let's scroll down until we get to the tour type. Here we go. In this case, let's keep the title, description, and requirements translatable, and we'll click save configuration. Let's go to our snorkeling page. So I'll go to content. I'm going to search for snork filter. Okay, extreme snorkeling here. I'll click it and then I'll click on translate and let's add a French translation. I'll go to translate.google.com. I like the translation for extreme snorkeling. Snorkeling extreme. I apologize to the French speakers. I'm going to copy the text of the description and we'll translate that as well. And then the requirements. We'll save it. And here we are. So challenge complete. Let's roll back our changes. I'm going to go back to our English version and let's uninstall our language. So for French, I'm going to delete it. And let's also change our tour type to not be translatable anymore. We'll scroll down and we'll uncheck tour type and click save configuration. Okay, and our final challenge, change go to for the coffee module menu item to be coffee. So I'm going to go back up to regional and language and we'll go to user interface translation. I'm going to search for go to and click filter. Okay, it looks like we only have one go to here. So we're going to call this coffee. So this will change the link up here from go to to coffee. I'll click save translations and now go to says coffee. Okay, challenge complete. Let's undo this. I'm going to scroll down and take coffee out of this translation and click save translations. And now we're back to go to. All right, so challenges are complete. Time to press that return button. I'm going to see if anything changes if I press it with a really long stick. Mm -hmm.